Wild Birds Unlimited is now open and burning. This is Kyle Odom inviting you to our grand opening event May 3rd through Monday, May 6th. Register to win prizes like our quality bird seed for a year, a bird feeding station, and a pair of Vortex binoculars so you can see those beautiful hill country birds in your backyard up close. It's springtime, so look out for those painted buntings, goldfinches, and also look out for our Wild Birds Unlimited mailer with a 20% off coupon for any one item in the store. Maybe a new bird feeder, a bird bath, or some yard art. It's Wild Birds Unlimited in Bernie on Market in Maine next to 28 Songs. We're Wild Birds Unlimited. Hey, welcome to Boost Bernie Business here on Bernie Radio 103.9 FM. Baron Wiley here, and normally we're recording in the Richter Studio on Main Street in downtown Bernie. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm so excited, so proud to be a part of the grand opening of Wild Birds Unlimited in Bernie. Finally, Kyle, you made it, sir. <laughs> we got here as fast as we could. I'm here with Kyle Odom. He's the uh, the owner, found not the founder here, but you're the, you're responsible for the one the San Antonio store. Uh, I take the blame. And then you had the wisdom to come to Bernie finally. <laughs> and across the table from me and to your right is uh, Bill Shannon. You're the general manager here. Glad to be here. Bring it in here, sir, sir my friend. Thank you so much for, for this teamwork that you have. You just had the ribbon cutting last week. Welcome to Bernie. Why Bernie? Awesome. Uh, you know what? That You guys, folks in Bernie have a beautiful spot here to where you're living. Yep. Tons of wildlife, great pieces of land, mature trees, tons of wildlife. Right. That's why we're here. We're all about wildlife observation and feeding birds and animals responsibly, and folks here in Bernie are kind of attuned to that. Well, the word's already getting out for sure, and we're all very, very excited. So, Bill, help us put us on the map here. Where exactly are we? We're at 110 Market Avenue, so just next to uh, 28 Songs. And how providential is that? You've got this guy (laughs) with a cardinal as his logo here, and 28 Songs is how many songs the cardinal knows, right? It it definitely works. Yeah, what a great compliment. So you're in that same strip right here on the north side of uh, Main Street, and on top of that, while you're open now, the you're having a grand opening party. Yeah, we did. Do, we did kind of a, a soft opening, mm-hmm. uh, starting uh, April fifth. We opened the doors and got things rolling, and it's been steady. You know, we wanted to get things rolling without with a little leeway, so that we could work out any kinks along the way. There haven't been that many, so we're fortunate. Knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but uh, yeah, the grand opening is coming up, and we'll build a little bit of steam around that, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Well, let's talk about that. Got my mailer today, in fact. Uh, very generous offer there on the coupon. If you look for it in your mail, it's a 20% off yeah. offer for any one item in the store. Any one item, and that kind of runs the gamut from a bag of bird seed to uh, outdoor fountains and bird baths, which can, you know, that can be a, a nice little savings if you apply it towards something like that. And if you come for the grand opening week here, again, officially May the 3rd through the 6th? May 3rd through 6th. Yeah, we rolled it into the Monday to make sure we covered anybody who couldn't make it during the weekend. Great idea. And you're going to have some pretty cool giveaways for those yeah. folks that show up there. Yeah. Bill, do you know what's on that list? I know some of it. Kyle, jump in. We <laughs> yeah. have, uh, we're giving away binoculars. We're giving oh my away gosh. a bag of seed of a month for a year or seed for a year. Wow. What else, Kyle? We got uh, gift cards. We got advanced pole system set up for somebody who wants to set up various bird feeders in their yard. They got one central station to do it. It's pretty cool. Fantastic. And again, of course, you can hear it in the background. We can't wait to see uh, what what real wildlife shows up because you've already got feeders outside the store here, too. So you can actually try out your binoculars looking through the window. (laughs) That's right. We've got some good bird activity out there, too. What are you seeing? Primarily lesser gold finches, house Mm -hmm. finches. There's a bunch of uh, scissor tail flycatchers yeah. that are nesting out there. G- kind of a good spot to do some wildlife observation here. Uh, I heard of a bunting sighting here yeah. recently. Yeah. Lots of buntings. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool here in Bernie in the Hill Country. It's it is. Beautiful bird. Yeah, folks here are fortunate that uh, this is this is bunting country. You know, they love open country like this. And, and we've had quite a few customers coming in buying specific food for buntings. They like a particular kind of grass seed. So people are already seeing them. Yeah. Talk about the quality of your seed, too, because you can go get your seed at the big stores there. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. your, your seed is special. Well, it, it is because primarily because it's what we call no waste bird food, and it's complete, and it's fresh. It's fresher than other stuff. You know, you know I don't, we don't ever want to disparage no, anybody, but, but um, 
you know, if you buy uh, bird seed uh, off the shelf at the grocery store or the warehouse uh, or the hardware store, it may have been sitting in a warehouse somewhere. We don't know. And it's a perishable product. You know, it's just like the food we eat. And so if it's been sitting around in the heat, it can dry out. Maybe get moldy, things like that. If that happens, does birdseed get stale? Oh yeah, it goes it just like you know. You leave a jar of peanuts open too long in the in the pantry, it, they go stale. Yeah, and uh, that happens with bird food. So we get pallets of bird food, multiple pallets of bird food every week, straight from the farm to the distributor to us. Well, let's talk about that for a second, because I think I saw some of your food moving. Oh yeah, in a little container. That's those. That's that's our super worms. Yeah, <laughs> who eats yeah. those? Well, uh, uh, just about any bird with a brain will eat a super <laughs> worm. There, uh, you know, a lot of birds only eat insects, and so mm-hmm. that's what we provide the uh, mealworms and yeah. super worms. Uh, live mm-hmm. because a lot of folks, especially around here, are trying to attract uh, bluebirds, eastern bluebirds, and that's one of their favorite things to eat is uh, live mealworms or the superworms. Superworms are uh, a larva of a South American beetle, so they're really jumbo yeah. uh, superworms. And you sell so much more than obviously just the feed. Let's talk about the feeders. Uh, I've had a Wild Birds Unlimited feeder for a long, long time. I need to replace it and get an, and maybe get a couple more, and I will. I promise you. Billy. I can help you with that. And uh, I had a feeling you could. <laughs> I'm waiting for my uh, grand opening special to <laughs> there show up there, if you don't mind. But i am been so happy with mine. It's got that cage over it, and it keeps that squirrel curious and, mm-hmm. and, and off. And mm-hmm. that's the kind of stuff you offer. Brag on some of those, Bill. We have the, the, the Eliminator feeder, which is our favorite feeder, and it's our best-selling feeder. The it, Eliminator. It's called the Eliminator. That we sounds have dangerous. S- some customers, they'll call it the Terminator, <laughs> but uh, it, it closes when a white-winged dove or a uh, squirrel gets on there. Yeah. It's, it's a phenomenal feeder. We have the parts in the back to fix it. It has a great warranty, so uh, love that feeder. Their weight sits on it and closes the door? Is that what you're saying? It does. Brilliant. And as we're recording here, the store is open. What are your hours? Well, we're here from uh, Monday through Saturday. We're here 9 to 6. And then on Sundays, we're open uh, 11 to 4. Well, what's really cool is that you've got a customer right now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So we're open. We're open. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, Kyle, why did you get into this business? You know, I've been a, uh, a backyard bird enthusiast my whole life, ever since I was a little kid. Wow. Uh, my grandparents were into it. My mom was into it. Just something I always enjoyed. I had a, a life in the corporate world, uh, had a career doing corporate stuff, and came to a point where I wanted to do something different. So, uh uh, wildlife observation is where it's at. So it was your first store in San Antonio? Yes. Yeah. Our San Antonio store on Hebner Road has been there for 28 years. Yes. So it's a successful operation. But when did you come along? Uh, I bought it six years ago. Good. Yep. And then still growing? And still growing. And yep. Came St- to Bernie. Still growing. We've uh, increased increased our business over there and and uh, wanted to come offer the same kind of value to folks in Bernie. Yes. We have a good customer segment uh, who's been asking for us to come here for for a number of years, so we're uh, we're happy to be here. Fantastic! And what you need to do now is figure out how to tear down this wall so you can take over yeah, the next space. That's right. You know, that's what's going to happen. That's right. Well, that, that may be part of the plan. I hope so. I really do. I wish you the best because you you lead the way. It's been first class. I've known again about your company for a long time. I'm excited for you. And uh, and again, you want to get involved in the community as well. Yeah, we do. That's a big part of our mission: is yeah. community engagement, community involvement. We like to do that no matter what market we're in, but. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bernie is a, is a cool environment for that because everybody is so interconnected. It's important to me personally and to our company that we be involved and we provide some kind of value. Well, again, thank you for partnering with Bernie Radio. You're part of our big Mother's yeah. Day contest. Oh, yeah. So we're excited. Uh, you're giving away a $100 gift card, and you can use that to get a lot of things in this store, those beautiful wind chimes when you walk in. That yeah. makes a great Mother's Day gift. Yeah, they are. We sell a couple of different brands of wind chimes. Wind River mm-hmm. is uh, made out of uh, Manassas, Virginia. And then Music of the Spheres are really cool wind chimes that are made in Austin right up the highway. Oh, excellent. So all, all made in the U.S. God bless you again. Yeah. How about some of these hats, these bird watching hats? The, yeah. The, what, what are those? It's, it's, that's, uh, those are our Sunday afternoon hats. They're really, really good UV protection. Yeah. Uh, a lot of dermatologists recommend folks come in here and take a look because it's really good protection. If you're out gardening or bird watching, hiking, mm-hmm. uh, fishing, golfing, really, really good protection. Very good. Yep. And again, I think moms like to have that, uh, I'm just assuming here, hummingbird season is, oh, is yeah. strong too, right? Very. We're right in the middle of it. Yeah. Man. Yep. Yeah, hummingbirds are beautiful. And um, their favorite food is, of course, nectar from flowers. That's always where they're going to go first. Mm-hmm. But we can supplement their diet by putting out hummingbird feeders. A lot of folks here have them out. 
with a little bit of sugar, water, nectar, and that's all you need, and then they'll show up. What's the truth on the uh, on the, on the red color and and the and the colorless uh, yeah, feed? Avoid the red color. Yeah, there's no no need for it. If you got some red on your feeder, that's all you need. They're coming to that color on the feeder. Uh, if you put some kind of red dye in there, there are some naturally red mixes. Mm-hmm. Uh, we do have one that we offer from time to time. It's, it's colored with hibiscus coloring, so it's 100% natural, but it's kind of hard to find that 100, 100% natural kind of stuff. So best bet is you know, don't need any coloring in the nectar. Kyle, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but I think people are going to come in here and find you and Bill and just want to hang out and talk. That's what we do a lot in our San Antonio store. Yeah. That's, it, it's, a, it's a fun place to be. Yeah. Sometimes it's, uh, you know, we'll have two or three customers in the store, and they'll be talking to each other. Yeah. And, you know, maybe pull up a chair and sit down, <laughs> and I'll just say, can I get you a cup of coffee? Right. And, and they'll just be sharing stories about their backyard birds and whatnot. And that's, I love that. It's, it's community. It's, yeah. it's a different kind of business. It is. Because people are passionate about it, and I'm passionate about it. And, and you get to share that with people. That's kind of a different level. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the sun. Summer coming up as well. Is there anything yeah. we need to be on the watch out bird bird wise in the hill country? Yeah, well, we're in migration right now. Yeah. We're in the middle of migration. So, in fact, if you go online, Cornell has a, a tool called Birdcast. If you look at Birdcast online, that gives you a daily forecast of bird migration. Fun. What, what's going to happen this night? How many millions of birds are expected to be overhead tonight? Because uh, birds, migratory birds, primarily migrate at wow. night for yeah. a number of different reasons. But during the night, um, you'll be able to see how how many birds are flying over. So we're right in the middle of it right now. Tell us that site again. Birdcast. Excellent. B-I-R-D-C-A-S-T. Well, your website is bernie.wbu, wildbirdsunlimited.com. Uh-huh, yep. Of course, you can visit the site and see all the products that you offer. Yep. But you just need to come in. Yeah, come in the store. It's, I mean, we, we offer online shopping too, but the main experience is coming in the store, sharing the passion, sharing the, the joy yeah. It sounds kind of goofy, but that's why we do it. It's uh, joyful. Talk, talk to the experts, too. And you can also kind of coach me. If I'm a first-time birder and I'm interested, but I haven't pulled the trigger on my first feeder, you can help us. Yeah, that's my favorite kind of person to talk to. Because yeah. I, I, first thing we need to do is learn about their space. Mm-hmm. Do you have 11 acres? Do you have a courtyard and a condo? What's what's your space look like? Yeah. And then once we learn that, we can figure out what, what are you trying to attract, and we can help help guide you that way. So what would you recommend for the first-timer? Where do you start here in the Hill Country? So uh, there are a number of things that you can do. The, the main thing is to offer a variety. Mm-hmm. Just start out small with a couple of different. We've got something called a flying start feeder. It's a, basically a spike feeder. You put different types of seed cylinders on it, mm-hmm. and you can mix up three or four different kinds of seed cylinders that are made of different products. Ah. Peanuts, sunflowers, suet, uh, different types of bird feeding products. And you just try that out, see what happens, see what it attracts. And then what you know, what you're going to get then you can go, you know, build bigger and better. Brilliant. Yeah. Again, it all starts at Wild Birds Unlimited now in Bernie, Texas. We're so excited. Kyle, take a, a minute and invite our listeners to come see you. Yeah, I, I welcome anybody to come say hi. Just come visit the store. We're at uh, 110 Market Avenue. We're Suite 106, just at the, at the, at the north end of Main Street. And we have a beautiful open pasture right outside yes. our window. And tons of goldfinches out there, axis deer. We get to see a lot You've of wildlife. You've seen the axis walk up? Oh, yeah. yeah oh, they're hopping cool. around over there. And remind us one more time, the grand opening weekend is coming up. Grand opening weekend is uh, May the 3rd through May the 6th. We're running into the in, in, a little bit into the week. So, mm-hmm. folks, if they're out of town for the weekend, they can come see us. Well, come on down to Wild Birds Unlimited, finally in Bernie. <laughs> and I'm so excited for you and Bill, and, and then congratulations. Thank you so much. We're overjoyed to be here. Folks in Bernie are awesome and, and really welcoming so far, and we appreciate that. It's Wild Birds Unlimited and Bernie. Thank you again, Kyle. Thank you, Bill. I know you're working. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for listening to Bernie Radio, 103.9 FM.